So the big thing to me is that the social role of a police officer is a position of privilege, power, and authority. So individuals granted this social position believe that by virtue of their position, they have the right to coerce other people. They believe that individuals have a duty to obey them. And so do lots of other people, right? So you'll see situations in which police shoot somebody and people will say, well, he was running away or he was resisting arrest. Now, if an ordinary person interacted in that scenario and when they killed another human being said, well, that person didn't do what I said, well, someone might reasonably ask, well, was what you said get off me or stop hitting me? Or was what you said some command to them that it's not clear they have a duty to engage in? And so as an anarchist, I reject the notion that some people have the right to coerce and others have the duty to obey because this violates some very basic egalitarian commitments. It violates what philosopher Roderick Long terms equality of authority. And for sort of detailed arguments for why state actors don't have this type of authority, I would recommend the first few chapters of Michael Humer's book, The Problem of Political Authority. So once one rejects state authority, then a great deal of what police do begins to look like exactly what we're told we need police to stop. And so not only was killing George Floyd an act of murder by police officers, but arresting someone for a victimless crime is an act of kidnapping. Civil asset forfeiture is theft. Fines and fees are theft. Strip searches are either sexual harassment or sexual assault. So rather than police being just agents who are enforcing the rules that we as a society have agreed to and who are protecting us from violations of our rights, they are people who are given special privileges that make them particularly likely to violate our rights and that in fact make violating our rights a key condition of the job because their role isn't just to stop violent situations, it's to enforce a litany of unjust laws that have no moral legitimacy. And so this creates a moral presumption in favor of abolishing the police because it's a position of coercive authority that comes with the power to engage in activities that we would rightly recognize as harmful, unjust, and unlawful if any other person carried them out.